Let's prepare on the TRB Polytechnic Exam 2017 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question number 66. The final moment at the end A in a beam AB due to the rotations theta A, theta B and the downward settlement also at the support B is given by which of these formula? Okay, so here option A is the right answer. 67. A two-hinged semicircular arch of radius R carries a concentrated load W at the crown. So the horizontal thrust at each support is given by and assume EI is constant. So for this there is a direct formula. So we can write option C is the right answer. Question number 68. The influence line diagram for force in member XY of the truss shown in figure will be what? So here they have asked for the member XY which is of height 4 meter. So that alone we have to see. So if you see the influence line diagram for that means option A will be the right answer. Question number 69. A cantilever of span L carries a load W at the free end. The flexibility of the beam is given by dash. Here the stiffness formula is given that is load by deflection and it is just the inverse of the flexibility. So that flexibility will be deflection by load. So for the given beam the deflection is W L cube by 3 E I. So that is the deflection by W the load. So you will get the answer is L cube by 3 E I. So option B is the right answer. Question number 70. The flexibility matrix for a beam element is 1 by E i into matrix 6, 2, 2, 9 they have given. This is the corresponding stiffness matrix. So for stiffness matrix we will just write the inverse of the flexibility matrix and you have to divide it by the determinant of that matrix. So if you take the determinant of this matrix means it is 50. So E i by 50 will be the first term. So next we have to see the matrix. So in matrix for converting it into a stiffness matrix what we should do means you should exchange the first number and fourth number of the matrix that is 6 and 9 has to be exchanged and the remaining that is the second element and third element has to be multiplied by minus 1. So this is the normal rule for converting it into the flexibility matrix. So here option A will be the right answer. Question number 71. Choose the incorrect relationship. So we have already studied the relations between these properties in the soil mechanics subject. So if you see the four relations means here the B option and C option both are actually wrong here. So you can write any of the answer B and C. Question number 72. The inverse of relative density of soil is dash. So we know the relative density is E max minus E by E max minus E minimum. So if you take just the reverse it is E max minus E minimum by E max minus E natural into 100. So option B will be the answer here. Question number 73. For seepage in anisotrophic soil conditions scale transformation is used to obtain standard Laplace equation. Then the flow net is drawn for transform section by what? So here option D is the right answer. Shortening the horizontal dimension by root of Kz by Kx. Question number 74. The dimensional unit of coefficient of consolidation is dash. So if you take the unit of the degree of consolidation means it can be represented as meter square per second or centimeter square per second. So when we are converting it into dimensional quantities, we will be getting L square by T. So L square T minus 1 will be the dimensional unit. So option A is the right answer. Question number 75. The relationship between the settlement SF of a foundation with BF and settlement SP of test played with BP as per Tezagi and Peck is considered as dash. So here option C is the right answer. Thank you and keep watching for the continuation of this question paper discussion.